Home for me is a collection of stories, memories and experiences of the people who live in them. Hi, my name is Prabhu and welcome to my home. Let's start the tour from one of my favorite places, the dining. We have an almost T-shaped uh, living and dining room setup and the dining room actually opens into our balcony. When we saw this space for the first time, this was the place where I absolutely fell in love with. I've kept the walls white mostly because the light in this room is very, very beautiful. So I simply wanted to maximize the light here and just added a tiny little um, gallery here and there uh, to add those little moments of interest. This gallery actually keeps changing. Let's see what we have now. This is a picture from my parents' wedding. My dad actually looks like a mafia king here. I love black and white photos and I'm pretty sad that I have very few of them. And on the other frame, we have us. And above the frames, I have this beautiful black little frame, which you'll be surprised to know what it is. It's actually a, a World War I medal, which I found in, in a metal junk shop. And at the time it was just a metal disc and I thought I could use it as a coaster on my glass table. And then I cleaned it up and realized that it says he died for freedom and honor. And when I Googled it, I found that it was a World War I medal. It belongs to a Mr. D'Souza who's now family. On the other side of my Pichwai, I have this Panjurli painting by Ashi Shagarwal that I got recently uh, made. And below that is a teakwood shelf and what's on it is a tiny Buddhist shrine uh, which is my first piece of certified antique Shiva and Parvati heads that I got from a trip to Kurk. And the shelf is from Meenu Kanolkar. On the other side, I have a fixed crockery cabinet um, above which I've displayed a piece of antique embroidery and then a few knickknacks here and there. The blue and amber glass vases are from Raji Sood and Sharon from Key Bunch and it's a very very proud moment for me because they are both fellow decor bloggers and I display it here on my sideboard so proudly. is how it looks from the balcony side and oh we didn't talk about the pichwai the pichwai is actually uh, a covid buy there was uh, this organization that was curating um, a few artisan details and they wanted people to buy directly from the artisans and that's when i commissioned this pichwai and it took a while but it did arrive and i think it looks beautiful on this wall The block prints on the wall is actually one of my first DIYs in this house and it is one of my proudest DIYs I must say. The, the tone on tone just looks so absolutely beautiful and it's so difficult to capture on the camera. All these tiny little moments that I've created around the house actually make it a joy to sit here in the morning and have a cup of tea and I think that is what is a home all about is the moments that you enjoy. Um, with your family all by yourself and and all of the little things the little memories that you create for yourself welcome to my slice of heaven my balcony and this is a place that we've spent a lot of time i think um, i must admit that the lockdown time was when i really enjoyed um, a lot of the spaces that I had created and it sort of made me decide that I want to spend more time at home and not do meaningless socialization or I, I wasn't really the socializing kind even before but you know even those smaller things that I would do um, I decided I wouldn't and spend more time at home. I get a lot of questions about my Buddha in the balcony and it is actually a sandstone sculpture from the Odisha Craft Emporium here in Bangalore. The yellow table is from Meenu Khanolkar 
it was white and I painted it yellow and distressed it with pink and then I have gratitude written on top so yes every time I sit there with a cup of coffee I'm reminded to be grateful for all of the things that I have this little elephant shelf is again Vinu Khanolkar it's probably a very very old piece and then I have a stained glass angel from glass hopper next we move to the living room the main door of the home opens directly into the living room so i don't really have an entryway of sorts so i've used this mango wood console to divide the entry and the main living room it's actually a piece that i ordered from jodhpur uh, when I was ordering furniture for a client and then it has uh, a beautiful mango wood horse that I got from this store called Evotique in Jainagar. I have uh, my red bench which was again painted by me. Above the red bench is this little jaroka that was actually a part of my grandfather's cafe and this piece is probably the very first DIY of my life. Maybe when I was 14 or 15 I found it in the bathroom waiting to be put into the fire and I managed to rescue it and paint it black and here it is after so many years in my home entryway. I also replaced the tiles in the bench with two tiles that are mismatched and these tiles actually belong belonged in my ancestral home. So another piece of my history in my entryway. The chenille rug that you see on the floor is actually a 500 rupee find on a Facebook group called Second to None. And next to the front door I have my very famous blanket box and above it is a Prabhavali gallery. I was in Tirupati uh, many many years ago attending the wedding of a friend and in one of the guest houses I saw a Prabhavali gallery and I always had in mind that I want to make a Prabhavali gallery in my home too. So here it is. The newest piece in my decor is the wall carpet which is from my trip to Kashmir and it fits my vibe so perfectly. This is my formal living with my uber gorgeous pink sectional. It was actually a black leather couch which belonged to a friend which we completely ripped apart, changed everything and converted into this gorgeous piece of pink heaven. The chase lounge is covered with a vintage Suzani that I found on a trip to Jaipur. The art behind the couch is actually a collaborative work with my friend Girija of Two Flat Brush. In fact, I had made some horrible textures and then she created that into this beautiful painting. And there's a very beautiful little baby monk within the texture, which I think is my favorite part of this art piece. The couch is another place where we spend a lot of time I think almost all evenings we're just lounging there and just being couch potatoes like usual. The lamps you see on either side of the couch were actually just pots um, and I converted them into lamps. I can tell you a story about every single item that I have in this house and this video will be a one or two hour video and I'm sure we don't want that. The idea of this channel is to tell you all those stories and uh, inspire you to build your own stories in your home. Next we have the passage gallery. It's actually a tiny little passage that leads into the bedrooms. I have a hand knotted carpet that matches the dining one. On the left side wall I have a gallery of paintings which are all of them are acrylic on canvas. Most of these paintings are made by my friend Girija. I think only the center one, uh, the Sri Lankan lady is what I bought from her. The rest are either gifted or stolen from her studio. Art in your home is like 
the best vacation that you can give yourself at home on the opposite side is an adorable portrait of my dad which again is made by girija and above that is an old photo of my father in law there's something about mixing black and white photos with uber colorful art it just looks so much stunning the passage leads into the guest room which is my favorite space where i go crazy when i needed a bed for myself i refused to buy an ordinary one and slept on the ma- floor for months because i wanted a four poster bed and one day i was lost in shivaji nagar and i suddenly stumbled upon this gorgeous four poster that i got for a crazy price and i grabbed it immediately so if you are my guest then you get to sleep on this exotic piece of south indian history my guest room is like my playground to go crazy this wall mural was actually inspired by uh, a page in the farah baksh journal which is a good earth product the theme of this room i think is indian exotic and i'm not sure if it's going to stay that way but right now it is on the bookshelf on the right is a small space where i have a collection of things that have been sent to us um by our mentees or you know people who simply loved the advice that we gave online and it's not everything but i i would some day love to fill up the space with all of the things that are sent to us with gratitude this lovely lady is again a covid buy i placed an order for her when there was an artisan looking for some income from what he had and she came all the way from rajasthan and she has a proud space in my home from the guest room let's jump into the kitchen the kitchen is actually a very basic a uh, builder kitchen it has steel grey cabinets and a granite counter top and the best thing i love about this kitchen is that it gets a lot of natural light and both of us cook we love cooking at home so it's the perfect functional kitchen that we have The dhari's on the floor are kalamkari block printed. They are three by five, three feet by five feet, and since they are cotton, they are very very easy to maintain. I simply wash them in the washing machine whenever they get too dirty. open utility space where i have my washing machine a place to dry clothes uh, and a wooden stand for my garden supplies and a few knickknacks the third bedroom we've converted into an office room which at one point of time was the most used room in the house because both of us would work from there unfortunately now after the pink couch this is the least used room because We are mostly working on the couch or from the dining table. I have a mango wood double desk there and a day bed. And the cupboards have all of our office supplies and my DIY supplies and the equipment that I need. I also use this room to shoot uh, DIY videos and DIY art. This for me is a work in progress room. The last and the most beautiful room is the master bed. I'm going to leave you guys with a few frames of the master bedroom because I feel like the master bedroom needs its own video. So stay tuned for that. But here is a slice of my peaceful heaven. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I would love for you to come on this journey with me. See you soon.